Hello, in this video we're going to do another perfect competition problem. Here we're dealing with a cubic cost function which will give rise to a u-shaped marginal cost function and what we want to do is find the profit maximizing and minimizing output level. So a perfectly competitive firm sells its product at the going market price of $50 a unit and its cost of production is given by the following equation. We want to solve for the firm's profit maximizing level of output and profit along with the profit minimizing level of output. So we're going to start by creating our profit function which in general is just total revenue minus total cost. Total revenue is the price, in this case $50 times the quantity. So 50 times Q represents total revenue and then we're going to subtract out total cost. Okay, we're going to put brackets or parentheses around total cost because we're subtracting out all of the total cost. And just distributing this minus sign through the parentheses here, we get the following. And now we're going to take the derivative of the profit function with respect to the quantity of output, Q. And we get this result. The derivative of 50Q is 50. The derivative of this next term, we bring down the 3 in front and then subtract 1 from the exponent. The derivative of 3q squared is going to look like this. Bring down the 2 in front and then subtract 1 from the exponent. The derivative of a minus 100q is minus 100 and the derivative of minus 15 is just 0. And because we're interested in maximizing, we're going to set this result equal to 0. Simplifying a little bit here, this 50 minus 100 gives us this result, minus 50. So our result from the last screen. And now we want to solve for Q. This is, by the way, the first order condition for maximum or minimum. We set the derivative equal to zero. So we now solve it for Q. And we do have a quadratic equation here. So here is our quadratic formula. And we'll note that A in this case is 1 divided by 10 or minus 1 divided by 10 or minus 0 0.1. B is 6. And C in this formula is going to represent minus 50. So making our substitutions. And now simplifying. We get this result. And then minus 6 minus 4 is minus 10. Divided by minus 0.2 is 50. And then minus 6 plus 4 is minus 2. Minus 2 divided by minus 0.2 is 10. So we have two answers here. So which one is the maximum, which one is the minimum? We're going to need to check the second order condition. So the second order condition, we're going to take the derivative of a derivative here. So we take our first order condition and we're going to take the derivative of this uh, equation. And we get back this result. 2 divided by 10 is just 1 over 5. And then we're going to evaluate the second order condition at q equals 50 and q equals 10. And at q equals 50, the second order condition is negative. And when the second order condition is negative and the first order condition is 0, profit is maximized. So profit is maximized at q equals 50 because, the again, the second order condition here is less than 0. And at q equals 10 we evaluate the second order condition and we get positive 4 so profit is minimized at q equals 10 because the second order condition is greater than 0. Graphically let me show you what's happening here in this problem. So this u-shaped curve here is our marginal cost curve. The going market price is $50, so that is a competitive firm's demand curve or marginal revenue curve. And we found where price equals marginal cost, it occurs at Q equals 10 and Q equals 50. So we're arguing here where Q equals 10, that is actually where profits are minimized. And where Q equals 50 is where profits are maximized. So the firm's demand curve intersects marginal cost at two points. Increasing output when Q equals 10 increases profit because marginal revenue, say for the 11th unit, exceeds the marginal cost of the 11th unit. The height of the black line, the marginal revenue line, exceeds the height of the blue line, the marginal cost line, if we produce a little bit more beyond 10 units. So the added revenue is greater than the added cost, and this will increase profit. 
So if your Q equals 10 and you produce a little bit more, your profit goes up. On the other hand, decreasing output when Q equals 10 increases profit as well. So at this point where Q equals 10 and you were to decrease output, your profit would actually rise because marginal cost falls by more than marginal revenue falls. The reduced production cost of producing less when Q equals 10 uh, outweigh the loss in revenue from reducing the amount of the goods sold. Why is profit maximized at Q equals 50? Increasing output when Q equals 50 decreases profit. The added cost will exceed the added revenue going beyond 50 units. That will lower your profit. When decreasing output when Q equals 50, profit will also fall because the loss in marginal revenue is greater than the savings from the fall in marginal cost from producing less. So the loss in revenue is not offset by a larger reduction in production cost. So once again, profit falls. So if your Q equals 50 and you produce more, profit falls. If your Q equals 50 and you produce less output, profit falls. It's indicative that when you're producing 50 units of output, you're maximizing profit. And likewise, when you're at Q equals 10, if you produce more output, your profit goes up. If you produce less output, your profit also goes up. It's indicating that when you're at 10 units of output, you're at a profit minimizing point. And so finally, uh, let's calculate uh, profit here. Uh, we're going to calculate profit at 50 units of output. So revenue is price times quantity. The going market price is $50 times Q equals 50 is $2,500 of revenue. To calculate the total cost of producing 50 units, plug in 50 for Q into the cubic cost equation and simplify. And then revenue minus your total cost gives you your level of profit.